So, a pleasant day to each and everyone. I am Midshipman Padrigian Christopher Y from BSM PNM 6B2. So, uh, for today's video, I will discuss to you the uh, organizational chart of ship's personnel according to their uh, authority, structure, responsibilities, including the three major departments on board and uh, followed by the situational awareness. So, first department. So, the deck department unit is uh, responsible for navigation, uh, watchkeeping, uh, cargo hold preparation, maintenance of the ship's hull, also for the uh, cargo loading and unloading operation. So, in the deck department, we have the master or the ship captain. So, I put there because he is the overall commander on board and highest responsibilities on board as well. And also, we have the chief officer. So, the chief officer is the master in second command. He is responsible for the uh, calculation of uh, ship stability and also for the uh, cargo loading and discharging operation. And we have the second officer. So, what we call the uh, navigational officer. So, his duties revolves inside the bridge and he is responsible for the uh, fixing of voyage plan uh, chart publications and also the publication update okay and we have the third officer so as we call the uh, safety officer so he is responsible for the life saving appliances and also for the firefighting equipment and followed by the boson and uh, he is the head of the unlicensed deck department so his duty is to uh, keep good the maintenance of ship's house so, followed by the able body seaman. So, they are usually uh, steering the vessel during the uh, pilotage. Or uh, they are either watchkeeper or the worker. Followed by the ordinary seaman. So, the duty of ordinary seaman is to upkeep, painting, and cleaning the deck. Okay? And deck cadet. So, the main duty of deck cadet is to learn the different jobs in deck department. Okay? Let's proceed in engineering department. Okay, so engineering department uh, is respond. Uh, this is responsible for the uh, machinery and propulsion system. So we have chief engineer. So he is the head. He is the head of uh, engineering department, and uh, he is responsible for the engine room safety, uh, bunkering, and also for uh, technical administration. And followed by the second engineer. So, second engineer or what we call the executive officer of uh, ships in engineering department he is responsible for delegating and uh, directing the maintenance plan of the engine room. And we have third engineer. So, uh, third engineer he is responsible for the general maintenance of the uh, machinery and equipment on board. And we have the uh, port engineer. So, the lowest rank uh, engineer in the uh, engineering department when it comes uh, to onboard a vessel he is responsible uh, for the uh, air compressor, also uh, maintenance for the uh, purifier. Okay, so we have PT, uh, Peter. So, Peter are uh, they are very good in assembling and uh, disassembling, uh, building new parts of the uh, machinery which are damaged. And we have the motorman or oiler which is the uh, main duties include the inspection and the uh, maintenance of the uh, condenser okay so we have the wiper so the wiper is the one who helps uh, the crew on board especially in engineering department uh, to execute the task given by uh, his superior on board and we have also the engine cadet so likewise with the deck cadet so his main duty is to learn the different uh, jobs in uh, engineering department and uh, this training scheme is uh, directly supervised by our second engineer or what we call the uh, executive officer of engineering department so let's proceed here in a steward department so steward department so as we call the uh, uh, catering department so we have chief steward there so the chief steward is responsible for cost and uh, also for the requisition of provisions followed by the uh, chip cook so uh, the chip cook is uh, responsible uh, for preparation of the food and uh, 
cook the meal for their crew and also we have the messman so messman the main uh, duty of uh, messman is uh, responsible for cleaning the uh, cabins of crew uh, also their dishes okay so after this we're going to uh, proceed in situational awareness okay so situational awareness so when it comes to navigation let's apply the uh, collision regulation or the uh, international rules that uh, safety on the sea so for example uh, there's a lot of uh, vessel or too many vessels are grounding uh, colliding nearby by the uh, close quarter situation simply because the master is unaware of what is happening within or around them so meaning to say they are lack of situational awareness so what is situational awareness so uh, situational awareness means uh, having a good perception of your uh, surroundings at all time and uh, comprehending of what is happening uh, around you and uh, predict of uh, how this or how will this affect your vessel so just like in uh, Colreg so rule 5 uh, let's be attentive uh, with you regards to the uh, observance of a good seamanship so according to rule 5 which is lookout so every vessel shall at all times maintain a proper lookout by sight and hearing as well as all available means appropriate to the prevailing circumstances so uh, so as part to make a full appraisal condition and of risk of collision so let's be attentive uh, in our environment also let's be aware of uh, what uh, will happen so let's uh, be in predicted predicted uh, predicted mind so i hope that uh, this uh, video will help you uh, to gain knowledge about what i've discussed uh, including earlier and for today which is the uh, situational awareness thank you